Hi, Lindsay Lambert, Executive Director of the North Carolina Pottery Center here, uh, just uh, hanging out in a corner of uh, the collection. Wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about an exhibit, a uh, digital exhibit uh, that is being put on by the Maria V. Howard Art Center at the Rocky Mount Imperial Center. Uh, they're calling it uh, North Carolina Clay from their permanent art collection. And uh, they asked uh, me a couple of weeks ago if I would be willing to create a couple of videos to promote North Carolina Pottery, uh, the North Carolina Pottery Center, and their own show, um, that digital exhibit. Uh, and I said, of course, I'll be happy to do so. And uh, they sent me a list of uh, names of people whose works are going to be in that digital exhibit. I think it is a you know, really a great list of uh, North Carolina potters and ceramic artists. Uh, you've got some that are uh, on the more traditional side. You've got some that are on the more contemporary side. Um, taking a look at that list of 26 names, uh, I see uh, at a glance eight names, uh, you know, whose, whose works uh, are actually also in my own house. So I, again, I think this is a really great exhibit. You've got some folks, um, you know, that are um, no longer with us. Um, you've got some folks that have uh, moved on to different areas, like Mark Gordon is uh, now over in Spain, I believe. Um, you've got uh, folks uh, that, uh, a few folks that looks like they've retired. Uh, Charles Lisk, uh, for example, is one of those. Um, but it's a, just a really great mixture of um, more traditional, a little bit of folk, and some contemporary. So it's a really great blend, and I think you'll enjoy it tremendously. Uh, one of the things that I want to uh, talk about today is you know, the works of each of these individual artists are in and of themselves important and valuable. But above and beyond that, um, there's more to it. Uh, the, a lot of these artists really uh, you know, spend a lot of time teaching others about their craft and how to create uh, things themselves. And uh, you know, that is a tremendous power. And the works that they've created and are in this digital exhibit also have power. You know, people can look at them, people can admire them. Hopefully people are inspired by them and want to uh, create something themselves. I uh, just want to single out um, a couple of um, names. Um, Mark Hewitt. I want to mention him in particular because uh, he's had a long uh, ongoing apprenticeship program over the years. And that's really allowed uh, some folks to come in, work with him, and then go out and uh, for the most of them be uh, quite successful in their own right. Another name I want to mention is someone who passed uh, a year or so ago, uh, Dwight Holland. Uh, I knew Dwight. Uh, Dwight was uh, quite a character. He was a real good guy. Um, you know, Dwight was a potter himself, but more than uh, being a potter, uh, he was a promoter. Uh, you know, he taught art. Um, he, for many years, he promoted art. He promoted living artists. Uh, he really believed in promoting the living artist. Uh, he helped uh, found the North Carolina Potters Conference. And um, over the years, he collected hundreds and hundreds uh, and hundreds of pieces of pottery from uh, living potters. And uh, he donated those pieces uh, to East Carolina University so that their students could have all of these, their ceramic students could have all of these wonderful pieces to look at, examine, and uh, uh, hopefully be inspired by. So that's, uh, you know, what I want to really just mention today is, you know, I think that the uh, list of names that they've pulled together that are in this show, uh, the pieces that they've pulled out, pulled out of their permanent exhibit, uh, even as a digital exhibit, I think that these will have uh, the power to uh, inspire you and um, encourage you, if nothing else, to want to find some of these potters who are still in, uh, in business, and most of them still are, uh, to go out and explore North Carolina pottery. So anyway, 
you know, that's basically what I wanted to say this morning. I think that the Maria V. Howard Art Center at the Rocky Mountain Imperial Center has pulled together a wonderful digital exhibit for you, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know I certainly will. Thanks.